we definitely focus more with the run walks. We had a group do, it's called BYOT, Bring Your Own Technology. It's for, with the local school system. And they're one of the largest in the state of Georgia. They usually have a race every October with about 1,200 kids. And this time they, they focused on the minutes of activity. They okay. said, you know, whether you're dancing in the living room or outside playing soccer, or you do go run, walk, bike, whatever you do, we want you to log your minutes of activity. And some kids, I mean, they, they must be the ones that play outside all day instead of on the, the Xbox, right? Um, I mean, they put in some massive minutes of activity and it, it was really cool to see. And they, they were actually our biggest challenge. Um, and again, because they had the whole school system to, to encourage to sign up with, I don't know, probably 30,000 kids in the school system. And it was fairly cheap. They just got a t-shirt in the, in the swag bag and it competed against the schools. And there was some, some, uh, you know, ice cream parties involved for prizes of who got the most kids yeah. and that. And I think they were right at 2000 kids um, wow. and, and, you know, loved it. What type of giveaways did some of these um, uh, campaigns offer and were any of them standing out to you as unique or, or, or different? Yeah, I think that was the big driving factor with these challenges as well. We, we did see a lot of people cross the, fin, you know, quote, finish line of their challenge mileage. Uh, we had several challengers that did two times, four times the goal mileage over the period. I know on one challenge that you could run, walk, or bike, really could do any any physical activity outdoors. Of course, the bicyclist had a leg up on the runners and walkers. I mean, he crossed the like thousand mile mark within two weeks or something like that. So he, you know, just wanted to hit the challenge and see how fast he could do it. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, everybody did a t-shirt and a medal. Um, and we definitely had a few do some extra things with, with koozies, some hats, the masks, some, some of the, one of our races did the, the real like paisley looking, I mean, that, that was the art style on it, very colorful masks. They were, they were very nice quality and had those mailed out via USPS. And I think that was a, the big sell feature, right? So they, they want to know the, what they got, that the, they got for crossing the finish line again. And uh, I think, again, that was the driving factor in a lot of ways, as, as much as the charity involved to what they, what, but they chose the challenge and they signed up and completed it. You could do this with your database very easily. It's kind of risk-free. You know what your costs are because once the challenge starts, now you can go order, you know, a thousand t-shirts, a thousand medals, whatever other yeah. items, swag items you're going to give away. And, and ha we can ship and deliver those to the, your participants as the challenge gets closer to the end. So you know what your income is, you know what your costs are, um, you, you, you have time to get it ordered and delivered into their hands. So they, they have those swag items. It was hands off for their staff and volunteers. They again, got to engage and encourage their participants along the way uh, and past participants and maybe future participants to their race. Totally encouraged them to leverage their Facebook groups and email databases and then just do Facebook marketing.